So I wanted to bring you this hairstyle a little bit differently than uh, what I normally do. Classic, super loose, just a wave, but with a flat iron. And I really think you're gonna like it. I was able to achieve it after already having my hair curled. It did make it a little bit harder, but you can have this nice classic look where all your waves working together. I think you're gonna like it, so watch this tutorial right here. All right, gorgeous. So you have your hair, you're already like, yeah, I can do this. Well, we can turn this hairstyle into something even a little more fancy. All I need is my flat iron, a brush, and a comb, and then a couple of different hair products. But really, we're just rolling kind of with what we currently have. So when you have it look like this, and we have it kind of all PC'd out, I am going to be going through here and brushing this out, because I want to go for a more sleek look. So this is actually day two hair for me. Um, and it is, it's starting to look a little bit greasy. So dry shampoo, I think will be super helpful, but I'm going through here on purpose to loosen all these out, okay? And my curls are still lasting and we're just gonna kind of make them mimic how they want and then what doesn't want to mimic, we're, I'm gonna go in with the flat iron. So for this look, I don't need things to be as curly, but I do wanna have some solid waves. This look that I previously had though has a little more straighter ends than what I want for this, uh, this one. So I'm gonna do my dry shampoo real quick like. And this is also gonna help me get some volume. And I'm just putting it where, so you just rub until it doesn't have that cold feel any longer. All right, so we did that, but now everything's going back to being in that curl, right? Okay, so I'm gonna take what I want, what I'm going to try and achieve, oh, just knock my earring, is getting these pieces to just have these really classy, elegant curls. So we're going to end up putting this behind our ears and how are this side, not ears, ear. And this side, I want this to have a really pretty wave. And it's a little bit um, not as waved as I want. So I'm gonna take this side and I'm gonna curl this and just bring it and wrap it around. And I want to get these ends, okay? So that's super important to get those ends. Now, this can get tricky because I have already curled my hair. And a lot of times, if you mess with a flat iron or a wand after already flat ironing, it can make your hair not want to cooperate with you. So try to pay attention to the flow that the curl is already going. And then, um, and then it will work with you a little bit better. So I have these pieces all coming through here and I'm gonna continue this right in here, especially. Now it's not gonna matter so much if everything is the exact same um, consistency in the hair throughout, but now I'm gonna brush this and see when I brush it, how it's all bringing it all in together. So that's what we want. So let me do this underside really quick, cause this side, I'm okay with this having curl in it. In the first, in the hairstyle I, I wore in here, the curl, um, I wanted it to be more straight on the bottoms, on the ends. But with this one, I want it to have more of a curl underneath. So we'll just curl all that up. Okay. All right, then through here, I'm just gonna bring all of this brushed in together. And I'm just gonna hold it all in together. So then when I start like shaping it, I'm making all of it bring those curls in together. So now I have this really pretty curl down here at the base. I can make this a little bit more slick if I want, but do you see how this is just turning it into more of an elegant look? We have, so this side part that I have, I exaggerated it over just a little bit more than what a side part would give you if you just had it like that. We wanna have that this exaggerated part that brings that volume up a little higher, so spray 
that to give you a little more volume. Okay, and then I'm gonna take, again, I'm gonna take this brush. Oh, by the way, this brush only works as good if you have the boar hair in with the nylon. So you want a brush that can just grip the hair really, really well. So I want this to all come in like so. I don't like how that was going. Hold tight, hold tight. I'm going through nice and slow. Now, see that? I'm gonna get this part in here and come in again nice and slow because it's having to compete with the curl that it already had. So sometimes it might not even work as good as I want because again, you're competing with what I already had. There we go. And on this one, I'm just gonna make sure I curl under these ends. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take this part and I'm just gonna manipulate it into, kinda see a little better, in with each other a bit more. So we're not ma we're making this side not as curly as it once was. All right, see how pretty it just looks super formal, super fancy. And then I want to get I want to get this hair um, oil real quick, like on these ends because with having the curls that we already had, we are we kind of jacked up the ends a bit, like they just don't look as healthy. So I just wanna get that in there and wake them up just a bit. So now we have just a little more formal of a look, not so many hair curls as we've had before. You can easily achieve this look probably even easier than you could, if, or than I could, like, cause I already had it really, really, really curly. But we just softened out those curls, made it look a little bit more formal, brushed all the curls in together just a little bit more. I'm gonna fix this one just a titch. And I'm paying attention to where the hair is going. And ta-da. Ta-da, ta-da. We are just about done. So just mimic the same kind of curl as before and then just bring them all together. Sweep it all in together. That's the most important part. Not having a ton of loose, loose curls. And you're good to go. This one's kind of annoying me. Please work, please work, please work. Ah, yes. Much better. And then we're done. We got a way classier hairstyle, just a little more class, and we're good to go. So there is my little fun change of the hair just for you. Give it that volume that you want on top and curl under those ends instead of leaving them nice and straight. And you'll have a beautiful, classy look that you got everything from your flat iron for your short hair. I think you're gonna like this one. Try it out, let me know what you think, class it up, and you're good to go. So there you go. We have this classic loose wave for you that can just, oh, it, imagine in a fancy dress, or you wanna even be dressed down a little bit more, but look a little fancier for work or whatever. It looks pretty no matter what. I'd wear this around any day, every day. Heck, I might wear it tomorrow, and the next, and the next. You never know. but. I really do think you're gonna like this look. So try it out and let me know what you think. You can always find me on Instagram at jocelyn.mcclellan and Facebook, Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan where I go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays and you're set. I hope you love this one. Take care and have a good one.